Good morning everybody. This is uh, Nagesh Rao, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering from Nalla Narasimha Reddy Educational Societies and Group of Institutions, Hyderabad, Telangana. So today we will discuss one topic from Transportation Engineering of the Coordinate. That is, topic is Traffic Volume Studies from the unit thought that is Traffic Engineering and Regulation. What is traffic volume study the traffic volume is the number of vehicles crossing a section of road per unit time at any selected period you know very well that traffic volume is used as a quantity measure of flow the commonly used units are vehicles per day and vehicles per hour. A complete traffic volume study may include the classified volume study by recording the volume of various types and classes of traffic, the distribution by direction, and turning movements, and the distribution on different lanes per unit time. So some of the objects is given here. So that is useful in structural design of pavement. And traffic volume is generally accepted a true measure of the relative importance of roads and in deciding the priority for improvement and expansion. And use it in planning one way streets and other regulatory measures. This study is used in the analysis of traffic patterns and trends. Classified volume study is useful in structural design of pavement. And volume distribution study is used in planning one way street and turning movement study is used in the design of intersection planning signal timings channelization and other control devices another point is pedestrian traffic volume study is used for planning sidewalk crosswalk Subway and pedestrian signals. These are variations in traffic flow from time to time. Hourly traffic volume varies considerably during a day. The peak hours volume may be much higher than average hourly volume. You know very well. And guys, normally here. The traffic is classified and the volume of each classes of traffic via buses, trucks, passenger cars, other light vehicles and rickshaws and bullock carts, cycles and pedestrians is found greatly. The direction of each classes of traffic flow is also noted. We need to maintain for suppression. So then only we can count easily for that. So generally, uh, man-made count is there and mechanical count is there. According to that, we need to calculate. But uh, separate uh, vehicle tracks is there. Then it's easy to calculate the volume scale. Uh, guys, here counting of traffic volume. So we have two types of traffic volume counting is there here. So one is the mechanical counting is there. And uh, second one is the uh, manual counting is there. So we will discuss about uh, both. Um, here, these may be fixed type uh, or portable type. Which one? Mechanical count. And it is automatically uh, recorded the total number of uh, vehicle crossing a section of a road in a particular uh, uh, desired uh, period.
and the working may be uh, by the effect of uh, impulses caused by traffic movement on a pneumatic house place across the roadway or by using any other type of the sensor. So here generally uh, traffic count is recorded by the electrically operated counter we know and the recorded capable of recording the impulses is there here and uh, here other methods of uh, working the uh, mechanical detectors by videos and uh, radar detectors is there and magnetic uh, detectors is there and photoelectrical detector detectors is there so this is the another method uh, to uh, working of the machine the main advantage uh, for this uh, mechanical counter in that it can work throughout the day and night for the desired period by means it is a mechanical count now we can count uh, 24 hours so there is no problem uh, with uh, this and the main drawback of the mechanical counter so there is one drawback also is there that is it is not possible to get the traffic volumes of various classes of traffic in the stream in the detail of a certain moment. So at that point uh, is not uh, capable. So this is a mechanical count and uh, you can see a manual counter. So this method employs a field team to record a traffic volume on the prescribed recorded sheet. So what their uh, mechanical recording in the sense it will be recorded automatically. But uh, when we are coming to the manual recorded, we are collecting the information on a record sheet. By this method, uh, it is possible to obtain the data which cannot be collected by the mechanical counters such as vehicle classifications or turning moments and counts where the loading condition or number of occupants are required. And here uh, one of the drawback uh, we can say, however it is not uh, practicable how to manual count for 24 hours. So we can do in only limiting few hours only. We cannot do 24 hours in a day. That is a uh, one of the point. And uh, here we are selecting typical shortcuts period and the graphic volume study is made by manual counting. Then by statistical analysis, the peak hourly traffic volume as well as the average daily traffic volume are to be collected here. This method is very commonly adapted due to the traffic advantages for the method. So generally we are collecting this and uh, so mechanical count means we can see at uh, toll plaza over there also is there. So they can count uh, automatically or we also collected information from that point by because that is a mechanical counter but when we are required uh, at the particular place a sense we will go uh, to manual count only at that particular time in a day and some of the presentation is there for traffic volume data you can see here the collection the collected during the traffic volume studies are sorted out uh, and the presentation in any of the following forms depends upon the requirements. So the first one is annual average daily traffic. So average annual uh, flow is vehicle per year. Average annual means vehicle per year. If it is hourly then hour for vehicle per hour we can say. 
तो एनुअल एवरेज डेली ट्रैफिक ए ए डी डी और ए डी डी सो एवरेज डेली ट्रैफिक दैट इज ए डी डी रिप्रेजेंट्स द टोटल ट्रैफिक फॉर ए ईयर डिवाइडेड बाय 365 और द एवरेज ट्रैफिक वैल्यू पर डे सो व्हीकल पर डे दैट इज द एवरेज वैल्यू पर डे दैट इज व्हीकल पर डे एंड दैट इज एवरेज एनुअल मींस व्हीकल पर ईयर व्हीकल so in order to convert the different vehicle classes to one classes such as passenger car conversion factors is known as passenger car unit pcu unit they are divided into pcu unit here and you can say another point is uh, trend chart shows the volume trends for the period of year of the period we need to prepare the year of the traffic volume we need to prepare and uh, various uh, variation charts showing hourly daily and seasonally as well as year so we need to maintain uh, these charts accordingly and traffic flow maps along the routes and are drawn these helps to find the traffic volume distribution take lands obviously so when we are preparing daily weekly hourly annual the seasonal the the flow chart wise and graph wise then we can uh, glance on that particular issue so volume flow diagram also we need to uh, draw at intersection either drawn a certain scale or indicating traffic values that is uh, one of the point and here hourly average also we are doing here and 30th uh, highest hourly volume or the design hourly volume here uh, in this case uh, it is found for the plot between hourly volume and the number of hours in a year the traffic volume is exceeded the 30th highest hourly volume is the hourly volume that will be exceeded only 29 times in a year and all other hourly volumes of the year will be less than this value so the 30th highest traffic volume is found to be satisfactory from both facilities and economic considerations so we are calculating for calculating before 29th times the volume is increasing that will be 30th time so that's why we are taking this the highest hourly volume at that particular point the highest or peak hours volume of the year will be too high that will not be economical to design the that facilities according to this one the annual average hourly volume found from aadt that is annual average daily volume at the volume will not be sufficient during the considerable period of and yeah the design hourly volume thus arrived at a need not necessary by the tier highest hourly volume ke and this is the traffic flow graph guys and uh, east of uh, existing road and here west of existing road north and south which is a traffic uh, flow condition is there the peak hours you can see and this is the hourly traffic uh, graph hours in one year with the hourly volume gradient uh, showing in a x direction here the y direction is hourly traffic curve. so we can see obviously here but at the first point is the road with average fluctuation in the traffic flow that is one thing you can say here and another one is the uh, exceeds at the 15 percentage of the location and here the exceeded at 85 percent of the locations that uh, what is the traffic condition 